Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to check out the combine tool. Uh, this is going to be an update video uh, to the previous one I've created a while ago. So this one is going to be for 2020 and I'm also going to give you some a uh, little bit extra details. But before we begin I want to remind you don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications every time I'm releasing a new video. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got two uh, components. The first one is the cube and the cylinder. Now, one will ask regarding the combine tool, so what is exactly we are combining? Is it the uh, components or the bodies? So the right answer is, of course, the bodies, because the components, it's like the container. This is where we keep uh, everything that creates the and uh, parts, which is the bodies, we have the sketches and we have the construction plan and so on. So when we're combining something, we are actually combining the bodies. So let's bring up, <clears throat> sorry, the um, combined tool, which you will find under the modified and right here combined. So the first body we're going to select, this is going to be our target body, uh, the body that we are going to combine to. So in this example, I'm going to choose the cube and you can select it from here. And then the second one, it's going to be the tool body, which is going to be the cylinder. Now, um, now it's set in the sec, but usually it's set on joint. And you can already see here that the color changes. So they both of them uh, get the same color. So, you know, we're joining them together. And the moment we are going to click OK, now we can buy them together. Now, in this case, as you can see, we, we had the bodies inside a component. Each of them had its own component. So what is going to happen now, for example, to the cylinder? And so if we go to the cylinder component, you can see it's gone. And it's gone because we moved the body from here to the cube, and then we put it together with our cube body. So we have one piece right now, which is why um, before you're combining bodies, just remember to plan it ahead and uh, think about uh, when, what you're creating if you're going to combine it. Because if it's uh, true, then you don't have to um, create a new component for that. Okay? Um, for example, if I knew that I'm going to combine these two together, the cube and the cylinder, then I would have just created um, a, the cylinder also inside here, the cube, and that's it. Uh, in this situation right here, you can see now we have an empty cylinder with no body and it's a shame because uh, it's just going to take some extra uh, space. Now let me just go back here, okay, and so let's check out the other options that we've got. And usually, um, many of the cases that we are, when we're working with a combine, we're using it to cut pieces from one another. For example, in this case here, I would like to cut uh, the shape of the cylinder from the cube. So I'm going to uh, select the target body, which is the cube, and then the tool body, which is the cylinder. Now, what happened is uh, many times when we're working with components, we are want to cut, a, um, for example, uh, a piece from one component of another and I'm going to show you a much more um, you know classic example uh, but in this one right here and I'm going to keep the tool because I'm going to need the cylinder later on it's going to be another part by itself so we're going to keep the tool uh, and then I'm going to click OK and so we can see we cut the piece from the cube and we also kept our cylinder because I need it. Now I'm going to show you another example which is a very classic one. Uh, this is what I usually like to, to do in this kind of situation in, in general. So we have a screw and we have a bolt and the bolt I've created myself. Uh, the screw I've uh, imported it from uh, McMaster. So the screw already has, you know, everything that it needs. It's got all the threads and everything, but my bolt doesn't have it. So what I'm going to do is instead of uh, creating the threads manually. So what I mean from here, 
uh, with the thread feature what I'm gonna do is very simple I'm just gonna go to the combine I'm gonna choose my target which is the the bolt here and then the tool body it's going to be the um, the screw itself and as you can see of course I'm gonna choose to keep the tools because we are going to use it later on and so what I'm gonna do we're gonna make sure that it's on the cut and I'm gonna click OK so if you're gonna check out the um, the, uh, the the bolt the bolt here, as you can see, it got uh, all the threads from the screw itself, and it's gonna fit perfectly. Not only that, it's uh, also positioned in the right place. So this is another advantage when you're doing it like this. If I imported a, uh, a bolt, for example, from somewhere else, then I would have had to uh, reposition it, and Cosmetically, if I'm gonna check out if they're mashing together the threads, uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna take me some extra time to make it so uh, they're gonna mash together. But this way, they fit and they position exactly where it's supposed to be. So this is another classic example of um, uh, when to use the combine tool and how to use it. Uh, of course, there are some other uh, options here as well. But these are the same uh, options that you also will find with the other features uh, including the cuts and the intersect and the joint but here you also have the option uh, to keep or not to keep the tool body okay so this is what it's all about and if you want to create a new component this is uh, also an option but this is something i've personally never uh, used it before so um so usually it's a join and the cut and keep and not to keep the tool so um, yeah this is basically what you need to know about the uh, combined tool if you have any questions so uh, let me know in the uh, comments area and i'll do my best to answer it so have a nice day and um, good luck with your project bye bye